The 2021 Honda CRF300L, CRF300L Rally. Good news sports fans, Honda spruced up its dual sport CRF300L base model and its rally variant ahead of 2021 with a solid 15% increase in displacement, a concurrent 10% increase in power, reduced weight, and improved off-road performance. The rally model brings even more off-road prowess to the table with its Ricky Brabic-inspired equipment package for riders looking to do some actual trailblazing, globetrotting work. 2021 Honda CRF300L Design Honda's CRF300L is a bona fide successor to the enduro bikes of old. Honda enjoys its own deep historical roots within this genre to make the CRF300L a bona fide successor to the enduro bikes of old. The newly refurbished My 2021 model carries revised bodywork that is both lighter and slimmer than before, even while it maintains much the same overall look with its high mount front mudguard, dirt bike-like proportions, and competitive mean. Since the front fender is so high, it necessitates the separate high-rise fork guards to protect the swept area of the inner fork tube and prolong service life. The base model looks slim, anorexic even, when placed side by side with its rally sibling. The rally carries more extensive and stylized bodywork complete with a robust set of bash plates that protect the down tubes and cradles from terrain strikes, along with side covers for the exhaust headers and engine cases. The rally also carries a larger fuel tank with a 3.4 gallon capacity to extend your rides in general, and off-road range specifically, in contrast to the 2.1 gallon teacup on the base model. Both bikes benefit from a revised riding position that delivers a more natural feel in both control and feedback. There's another divergence in the design between the two at the headlights. The base model rocks a single headlight topped by a tiny number plate, fly screen, but the Rally sports asymmetrical dual headlights with a Rally-style windscreen and handguards to complete the pilot's protection. Behind the light, the positive-lit LCD screen was tweaked for better visibility under any ambient light conditions. Seat height was boosted from 34.4 inches to 34.6 inches off the deck for the US market and the handlebar is pulled back a skosh and the foot pegs adjusted to accommodate heavy riding boots and even a standing riding position for technical off-road work. 2021 Honda CRF300L Chassis The suspension is okay on civilized roads, but really earn its salt on soft, loose off-road surfaces. The very bones of the beast underwent its own metamorphosis of sorts with revised tuning and plate thicknesses that drop a whopping 4.7 pounds from the chassis weight of the CRF300L. Steel was the material of choice for the strength it imparts to the structure. It comes in a single down-tube, double-cradle arrangement that fully cradles and supports the engine rather than using the mill itself as a stressed member. The one-piece cast aluminum swing arm does its bit to keep heft down by dropping 1.2 pounds for this year. A pair of lightweight, laced aluminum rims limit unsprung weight at both ends with enduro block pattern tread hoops in an 8100s-21 ahead of a 120 18 They're okay on civilized roads to be sure but really earn their salt on soft, loose off-road surfaces. Rake and trail are a skosh shorter than the outgoing model at 27.5 degrees and 4.29 inches respectively, while the wheelbase is 57.3 inches long, almost half an inch longer than before. Turning radius is reported to be 7.5 feet long, and ground clearance is now 11.2 inches high on the rally, up 1.2 inches from last year for greater rough terrain capabilities. A set of 43mm inverted Showa forks float the front end on 10.2 inches of travel, up 0.4 inch, while out back, the Pro-Link suspension and Showa shock rocks the same stroke as the front. Full spectrum adjustability comes stock at both ends for complete control over the ride quality. A twin pot caliper bites a 256mm disc, 296mm on the rally, that rocks a self-cleaning, wave, cut disc with a 220mm disc and single piston anchor out back. ABS is available as an option on both of these bikes, but if you get the anti-locks you can still disable it at the rear wheel for your off-road shenaniganary. 
2021 Honda CRF 300L drivetrain. Revisions to the new 286cc engine deepen the torque well for improved throttle response lower in the range. Displacement on the CRF 300L was increased 36cc for a total new displacement of 286cc. It's still a thumper, no surprise there, and still liquid cooled with a 12.7 kW radiator tucked away behind a protective grille that smooths airflow and prevents stone strikes. A revised intake tract and tweaked cam timing deepens the torque well for improved throttle response lower in the range. Dual overhead cams time the four valve head for efficient aspiration. The factory runs with a 76 mm bore, same as last year, as is the 10.7 to 1 compression ratio that'll demand at least mid-grade fuel, but the stroke is stretched by 8 mm to 63 mm to account for the increase in displacement. A slipper clutch comes with a 20% lighter pull as it couples engine power to the 6-speed transmission that runs with shorter ratios for improved acceleration, and a taller top gear for efficiency. Power figures check in with 27 horsepower at 8,500 revolutions per minute and 19.6 pounds of torque at 6,500 revolutions per minute, up from 24, 16.7 on the outgoing model. An offset cylinder position and molybdenum-coated piston skirts reduce friction and its associated mechanical losses and heat for a long planned service life. 2021 Honda CRF 300L Price MSRP starts at $5.3,000 on the base model without abs and runs up to $6.3,000 for the rally with abs. Align equals center greater than first off. You can get these bikes in any color you want, as long as you want that Honda red with white and blue trim. The prices fall over a range with the non-ABS CRF 300L rolling for $5,249 and the ABS version fetching $5,549. Naturally the rally is going to go for more cheddar with a $5,999 and $6,299 sticker for non-ABS and ABS, respectively. 2021 Honda CRF 300L competitors. The dual surface enduro small displacement adventure bike market is fairly well populated, and as is usually the case, Honda has a domestic competitor close at hand with the WR250R from Yamaha. Yamaha WR250R. Looks wise. The WR250R could be a brother from another mother for the base model CRF300L with the same enduro influences. Looks wise, the WR250R could be a brother from another mother for the base model CRF300L with the same enduro influences in the high front fender, small flyscreen, and narrow waist. Ground clearance measures in at 11.8 inches off the deck even greater than the 11.2 inches from Honda, though I doubt this will convert to any great advantage off-road. Yamaha turns in consistently higher suspension travel figures with 10.6 inches of travel front and rear for yet another small advantage. The tuning fork company breaks even in the suspension tweaks, and even manages to catch another break in the power output with 28 ponies against 27, but it's a trade-off as Yamaha's entry cranks out 17 pound-feet against 19.6 pounds of grunt. Yamaha enjoys a number of small advantages, but you'll pay for it, to the tune of $6,699 versus $5,249. That's an awful lot of cheese at this price point and is sure to buy Honda some business that may have gone another way. Read our full review of the Yamaha WR250R. He said. Serious machinery for serious dual sport action. Whether you want to ride on public roads to your favorite jumping off spot or are doing genuine globetrotting, the CRF 300L family has you covered. To be honest, the base model looks like a fun time, but the rally means business with its Dakar inspired layout. She said. My wife and fellow motorcycle rider, Alan Hinton, says, I like the Yamaha WR250R as a competitor but I might have gone with the Kawasaki KLX300. 
overall comfort, I think, goes to Honda with wider foot pegs and a saddle that's a skosh cushier, but how long that seat stays cushy is another thing. The foam breaks down eventually to leave you with a hard seat, indeed. The KLX has a nicer suspension, but comes in a bit pricier and that without an option for abs. Who wins this contest will be decided with a test ride on each and make up your own mind. 2021 Honda CRF 300L specifications. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.